dito sa SNA. Half time na mga pamilya dito sa Phil Oil Flying V Arena. At lamang ngayon ang GRU Heavy Bombers over the Perpetual Hell Altas with the score of 28 to 27. At dahil half time na, oras na para humata o kagaya ng dab or nene. Actually, alam niyo guys, hindi ako magaling humata o. Pero ang ipipicture namin na SAA player, mukhang may baon. I'm bringing to you guys right a quenny. I'm peaking. I've been going blind and you've seen him. They just turning up what I've been in. Where I'm elevating, no feeling. Two meanings. Yum. Hi guys. I could see Bright Aquate of the Perpetual Help Altars. Today I will teach you guys how to do the slam dunk. A slam dunk or a dunk shot, it's a basketball shot that is performed when the player jumps high above the rim and puts the ball in with either one hand or both hands. Guys, this is how you do a slam dunk. When coming on motion, you go after the dribble, you go one, two, and then you put it in. That's for the one hand. You can still do the same motion for two hands. Put it in and slam the ball. For me, I feel the dunk shot. First of all, it's a crowd pleaser, right? And for the big guys, I feel it like for me I feel it's like a high percentage shot. That's why I, I try to go for it sometimes. Watch out. Probably next season you see me you see me join the slam dunk contest. Oh they get the ball to Brian Aquedi all the way for that monster jam! 12 straight points for uh, right. Now guys, that's how you do a slam dunk. Keep watching NCAA and support all schools, not just for better, all schools in the NCAA. May baon nga si Bright, baong galaw ang NCAA. Ano ang masasabi niyo sa kanyang mga galawan? Pwede niyo kami i-tweet, makikita niyo ang aming mga social media handles sa inyong mga TV screen. And of course, huwag niyo kalimutan gamitan ng aming hashtag, hashtag NCAA Season 92. Habang online na rin kayo, pwede niyo sagutin ang aming question of the day. Sino ang NCAA Dream Team niyo? And once again, huwag niyo kalimutan gamitan ng aming hashtag, hashtag NCAA Season 92 para mabasa namin ang inyong mga sagot. Magbabalik ang NCAA Season 92 with the Halftime Analysis. Magbabalik tayo dito sa SNA for the live coverage of the NCAA Season 92. We are also live here at the Phil Oil Flying V Center at halftime. This particular game between the JRU Heavy Bombers and the Perpetual Help Autos. The JRU Heavy Bombers leading right now with, uh, by one point rather, 28 to 27. So, uh, Martin Aviar po, Mix Bustos, kasama po natin. And Mix, it has been a back and forth game. Uh, this particular game and uh, we've already had seven lead changes in the first quarter and then uh, Altas with the lead 14 to 11 pero JRU firing back in the second quarter outscoring the Altas 17 to 13 well uh, together with seven lead changes this game also had four deadlocks so talagang palitan po ng bola dito para sa si JRU and Perpetual because of course talagang may sense of urgency ang parehong upunan coming into the final four hindi na sila pwedeng matalo and the one loss could really cost them their uh, final four chances so napaka-importante ng lahat ng aspect Ito na itong naroon to dahil uh, 
This is a crucial game for uh, both teams as we take a look at, of course, the halftime uh, statistics today. So far, uh, medyo tabla tayo in general sa maraming categories. Medyo tabla. Dikit na uh -huh. dikit lamang ang mga numero. Perimeter points. Medyo dyan may, mismo may konting separation mm -hmm. ng JRU. 13 to 3 points in the main naman. 16 to 10. Credit that, of course, the Prince Eze and Brett Aquetti starters points. Medyo mas marami din dyan ng perpetual help kontra mo sa JRU. Pero bench points, the biggest factor for JRU so far. Irvin Grospe and Jordan De La Paz combining for 12 points off the bench. Kumpara mo lamang sa anim na perpetual help out. Hindi pala tabla mix. Kumbaga, may pambawi ang parehong kupunan para ma-score nila. Ngayon nga, isa lang ang uh, diferensya nitong ating laro so far. Pero puntahan natin ang ating leading scorers for the Heavy Bombers. Ito yung pinag-uusapan natin kanina. Urban Grospe, so far with 7 points. Pontejos with 5. De La Paz with 5 points as well. Para naman sa kabila, Bright Akweti, as usual for him, 8 points in the first half. Si AJ Coronel naman, kung pangalawa with 6 points. At si Gab Dagangon with 5 early points. Uh, alam mo, Mart, so isa pang uh, interesting trivia, of course, mula sa ating uh, Chief Statistician Pong Tocanes. This is a good sign for JRU na nakuha na yung kalamangan at the end of the first half because Perpetual is 10-1 this season when leading after the halftime. So yung kanilang 10 wins, ilang mamang sila sa halftime doon. So, uh, medyo probability-wise, no? Medyo if, uh, kung pa papalain nga naman, eh, baka ma-break ma ng JRU yung streak na yun. Pero dito sa ating laro, Mix, munti ka nang lumamang ang perpetual going yeah. into the half. Kung uh -huh. di nang nagkaroon ng knockout play to end the second quarter, etong si Jordan De La Paz. But here we go. We are about to start the third quarter, the second half of this ball game again. This is between the JRU Heavy Bombers contra Dito. The University of Perpetual Help Altos. JRU in the lead right now by 1.28-27. Ano sa tingin mo yung mga magiging adjustments for both teams? Like for JRU, going to be, are they going to um, tighten up the defense against Bright? Well, uh, for JRU, they have to go down low. Katulad ng mga plays na yun uh, by Mark Cruz because they cannot rely alone on the shooting of Tate Chudor and Paulo Ponteos for perpetual health naman. No, they need to move the ball more. Alam mo, hindi pwedeng si Brenta Kuwetin lang o si Gab Dagangon ng pupuntos para sa iyong kupunan. Kailangan din may mag-step up talaga. Katulad nito, katulad nila uh -huh. AJ Coronel, nila Keith Bido, magpo-provide din yan. So it has to be a total team effort para dito sa parehong kupunan. But it's uh, well, looking like it. This is going to be a down to our finish. But right now, JRU in the lead, 30 to 27. Oh, nice ball movement from JRU. Nine, seven, on for the block. Ito si Keith Pido. Well, that's the defense that we're talking about. Helping the helper, Keith Pido. Hindi naman na talaga tao. Ito si Mark Cruz. Pero nag-recover siya ng maganda doon. Bolang bola ang kanyang nahuli. Kablaka-blaka na dito si Mark Cruz. Todoro from the outside na libre si Tay Tay and you know it he can make that shot warm up shot para sa kanya na yun talking about of course Tay Tay Todoro well, credit that uh, double screen dito by Abdel Petucci and Mark Cruz na ipit yung kanyang bantay off that switch and one of the rare uh, three pointers para dito sa laro para kay Tay Tay Todoro hirap na hirap pa so uh, 5-0 start para dito sa JRU to build this 6 point lead perpetual naman sa kabila Kido, side steps, kid. Kido slices through, but his layup is no good. Pontejos with a rebound, outlet pass to Jodoro against AJ Coronel. Jodoro with a fade. They decide to pass it on to Pontejos. Pero wala rin yung tira doon ni Paolo Pontejos. JRU ready to rock the arena. The play of Philol 5B center dito. If that shot went in. Ito nga, nakita nga din. Credit that double screen. Uh -huh. Mark Cruz and Abdel Putucci for that open jump shot. Open three-point bomb by Tate Chidoro. That's off the inbound, of course, for JRU. They're still in the lead right now by six points, 33-27. Ano ang discard ng perpetual? Simon Dico against Paolo Pontejos. Height advantage for him. Dito, finding Gap Dagangon who takes it in. And he draws a foul inside. Paulo Ponteos, the second one on JRU. Paulo Ponteos, the Matawa Gandun. See the move of uh, Gab Dagangon. Ayun, kamay na kamay, brasong braso ang uh, nahawi doon ni Paulo Ponteos. 
Well, first point na naitala dito para sa perpetual help to start the second half. Got the gangon. Well, they really need a lot of trips from him. He needs to stay aggressive. He needs to make his free throws. Uh, he goes one or two few there. But Brian Aquetti gets the offensive rebound for the Altas. Simon Tico kicks it out to Pido. Pido taking the three. That's too strong for Keith Pido. To RU. To Doro. Pontejos who set it up. Alu Pontejos. Double teamed. Cruz, they move the ball around. To Doro open briefly, but he decides to take it in. Fader for Tate Chudoro is good! A series of moves for Tate Chudoro. Let's see, take take three points. Bumol fake, don't breathe, Tate Chudoro. Middle jump shot right there. Simon Pico against Paulo Pontejos again. He did not take advantage in that particular sequence, but he did with a floater right there for the perpetual help Altus. Well, alam niya kasing two fouls sa itong si Abdel Potucci at hindi na siya sasabay as much. Kaya nag, uh, tumapang talaga itong si Keith Pido driving into the lane. Bila naman. Sodoro, dinidikita na nito ni uh, AJ Coronel. Pero offensive foul ang may tatawag dito kay Potucci. Puntaan muna natin ang ating kaibigan na si Sarah Carlos. Sarah? Fun fact for all the JRU Heavy Bombers fans out there. Alam niyo ba? Si Paolo Ponteja sa Tete Chidora get along very well in the team. At sabi nito ni Coach Rinhel, ang dahilan para doon ay dahil hindi he makes sure that the entire team knows na wala siyang favoritism at iniiwasan ang magkaingkitan dahil ayaw na ayaw yun ni Coach. Kaya siguro sobrang maganda ang chemistry ng JRU Heavy Bombers. What do you guys think, Martin and Mikey? Definitely Martin no, Sarah. Martin Mix? <laughs> Pwede rin, Mikey. <laughs> Yun naman ang English ang nickname ko. Oh. Kasi yung Miguel Spanish. Oh, tama, tama. So Mike pag English. Oh. Acceptable. Na nice save right there, Mick. Oh. <laughs> si Mike, <laughs> pwede rin maging mix. Oh, oh, pwede rin. Pwede rin. Reciprocal. Bad Aquedi right there with a free point play opportunity. Eto siya getting the ball back and of course making the shot. Plus the foul for Mr. Brightside. And he completes a three point play, Brad Aquetti. With 11 points right now. Todoro against AJ Coronel. Todoro with a floater! Tate Todoro for the two points. Tate Chidoro already with 7 points Dito to start the 3rd quarter Remember, he scored 13 out of the 23 big points Contra sa laban nila sa San Beda Red Lions Another, will we see another uh, big 3rd quarter dito para kay Tate Chidoro? The perpetual help going inside so far Dito ay Brett Akweti, Dagangon with the basketball He spins, he takes a shot, that's no good Rebound Mark Cruz Todoro ulit, nitangan ng bola. Rediscarte against AJ Coronel. Nice spin. Nahinanap na itong si Lasquetti. Open for three. Itong si Ponteos, but he doesn't take it. Todoro for three. Too strong. And we have foul underneath. That will be against Daryl Sinitigo. The break's not coming to Perpetual's way. Loose ball foul ang tatawagan dito. And possession will go back to the JRU. But though we have a timeout, para dito by Coach Jim Olgigan, babalik kami dito sa NCAA on SNA. Fans all over here at the field of playing the center, of course, huling huli. Si Derek Raul, abang ite dito sa field of playing the center. Ayan, from the uh, University of Perpetual Health Dev Squad, who performed earlier. Galing talaga ng mga director natin, no? Siyempre, para mga traffic enforcer yan, ang huli. <laughs> sa daan at of course dito sa Federal Prime B Center nakukuha din natin ang mga magagandang iting ng ating mga fans ng NCAA ah, pero kung bati ko pala team drawing si Mary Chris ayan hello nanonood siya ngayon team drawing? ah uh, team drawing kasi puro drawing daw walang <laughs> <laughs> natutuloy <laughs> pero balang action po tayo Pontejas maturo mo na sila magluto para team cooking <laughs> <laughs> Drawing na, cooking pa. Drawing na, cooking pa. 
What well, a combination yun. But uh, the Bufeto help right now with the basketball. Ito si Pito. He moved the ball around. Up the gangon. Looking to create for the Altas. Uh, Handcheck foul. Ball right here on Tate Chudoro. Nahuli yung kanyang links doon. Kaya... Para makakuha ng contact sa kanya ko, Benza, eh, kailangan niyang gawinin ng mga kanyang mga kamay. Pero hindi po pwede yun ang hand-check. Pero si Simondigo continues to struggle here in this game. Missing again in that three-pointer. Here comes Gio Laschetti. The swing into Tate Chudoro. Who draws a foul against Keith Pido. Good sportsmanship shown by both uh, players. Siyempre, kailangan mo talagang tikitan niya si Nate Chidoro, pero siya hindi siya napipikon. Nagkakalang lang siya na part of the game. At itulungan niya pa si Keith Pido na makatayo. Laro lang. Laro lang, oo. Pag aasawahin mo talaga dapat itong Tate. Oo. Sundan mo yan hanggang CR para ngayon na makahirap iwanan yan sa labas. Pero sa kamila, ito si Pontejo, step back three! Now shot for Paolo Pontejo, it's no good. Offensive rebound para dito kay Abdul Wahab. But uh, the Perpetual Help coming up with a steal. The Gangon goes inside to Agueti. Agueti with a reverse layup! Bad Agueti for the two points! Nautakan lang na doon si Abdul Wahab, Abdul Razak. Making that drop step spin, reverse layup, no problem. Mr. Brightside. That cuts the lead to two points for JRU. Laschetti trying to find a teammate. Teodoro over Ilagan. No good. Bagangon with a rebound. Tumatakbo ang Altas. Bagangon pa rin ametangan ang bola against Paolo Puntejos. They swing it to right inside again for the easy two. That leads us to another timeout. This time for the JRU Heavy Bombers, Babalik po kami dito sa NCAA on the Cine. Back here at the Phil Oil Flying Bee Center. The lab coverage, of course, of the NCAA Season 92. Ang araw po ng Vietnes sa inyong lahat. Naroon dito sa NCAA. Ito yung magandang hanap. Si Keith Pido going to Brian Aguetti. Na ang posisyon na doon. Si Mr. Brightside ang bumarin pa. Itong si Keith Pido. Scoring 2 points para dito sa Perpetual. And tying also this ballgame. 37 all. 6 deadlock off the game. Guys, the anticipation of that entry pass para dito kay Daryl Simpitico. Pero mananatili ang bola dito sa JRU. As you guys can see, the statistics of Bre Mr. Brightside so far makes. Ito nga si Brett Aquetti. Matching his total output contra his last game. 15 points and 10 rebounds. Better percentages for him. 4 out of 6 from the field and 6 out of 7 from the free throw line. Napaka-efficient talaga. Ito si Mr. Brightside. But uh, Irvin Grospe makes. Sabi mo kanina, he doesn't show up. Uh, often in the second half. Ito ngayon, two points para sa kanya. Foul off the ball. The, the three-point attempt won't count, so we won't have three free throws. Instead, uh, possession for the Perpetual Health Autos. If you do, pupunta sa free throw line. Get Gita, the Irvin Grospe, and Keith Kido. Grospe called for the foul right there. Physical, na physical, talaga ano siya for both defensive-minded teams. They really want to get, you know, up on your mind, up on your sleeve. So talaga ang pipis, pipis sa kaling kada talaga niya, ko kanta kada talaga niya. Now we've seen a number of a loose ball fouls off the ball from both teams. The defense right here in this particular game has been very apparent things dahil uh, itang pa lang sa ating score. Low scoring ball game so far. And ang pinapahirapan nila pareho ang isa isa on the offensive end. But Kitty Dog misses both free throws. And uh, they need every free throw that they can get here. 
So low scoring talaga, no? 39 pa lang tayo, high score natin. Well, compare that to the output, output of like Arellano or Asalbeda. No, as Urban Gross makes, makes his uh, fourth point dito second half. Arellano, Asalbeda, they usually, mga ganitong numero, Marts, mga first half lang to eh. Oo. So, uh, very defensive oriented game, or defense oriented rather. Gross naman in double figure na for JRU, Kamdagaon. Bumawe sa kabila, scoring that two points inside. Pondejo is looking for Grospe against Rick Gallardo. Grospe, matapik ang bola doon. Mr. Brightside comes up with it. They swing the ball around, keep it up. With the basketball. Oh, nakita sa loob si Bright Akwedi. Oh, nice snap. From uh, the JRU Heavy Bombers. Pero ball ng bola doon. Akwedi wanted to get the foul. Pero naisip niya, ball ng ama lang. Kaya hindi na lang. Jordan De La Paz kidding it out to uh, Paolo Pontejos. A double team doon. De La Paz with a nice spin. And the shot is good. Para dito ay Jordan De La Paz. I thought that was a fail-out shot by Jordan De La Paz. He spin. Ang gandang depensa doon. Pin ito na lang na sa ere. Bumuka nga pa. Jordan De La Paz making that hard shot. Extends the lead to four. Kanagan discard na atas dito. Keep it on getting a screen from Rick Gallardo. But he almost uh, threw the ball away right there. But instead, Gabdagangon draws a foul. Good hustle there, rather by uh, Gio Laschetti. He got all ball. Ito ka, makita nga natin yung uh, tira. Ganda depensa ni Gabdagangon, pero he finds a way to get that in. Going back to that last sequence, uh, Gio Laschetti forced the jump ball. Kala rin natin, foul eh. Mukhang foul eh. Oo. Pero kasi usually, di ba, pag mga ganong loose ball, talaga may matatamaan. Pero bola-bola ang nakuha ni Laschetti doon. Pati ako na fake partner. <laughs> Pero nakakarami na kasing tapik na gano'n oh, oh. ang KRU dito sa ating laro. Oh. Ito, we swing the ball around Jed Mendoza with a nice intention to Irving Grospe. But he saves it to De La Paz who shoots the corner three. No good. Sadiwa with the rebound. Here we go. Last minute of uh, this third quarter. That's Sadiwa. Looking to create, his shot is no good. Kap Tagangon gets it back, still no good. Pero underneath, meron tayong tawag. Jet Mendoza ang matatawagan dito ng foul. Ito kasi ng defense na pinapakita nila kay Kap Tagangon na si gets his offensive rebound. Very, very, very pesky. Ito nga si Jet Mendoza. Pababaan na siya dun. Oo. Kinapik niya si Agap Dagangon. According to Coach Jim Wilkikan nga no, Marts, this is a badly needed win for them. Even though they're currently at third place at 10 and 4, hindi pa rin sila safe. Walang safe dito sa ating uh, current positions sa ating Season 92. Ito nga, uh, University of Perpetual, mamaya-maya, pag-uusapan natin ang uh, pananatili nilang mga laro. But it's gonna be a tough road to the finish for them. 22 seconds left here in the third. De La Paz. They also foul against Flash to Diwa. The coaching staff didn't like it, didn't like the call. But a great job by Jordan De La Paz. Alam mo, medyo nagulangan na ng konti. Nung tumapik si Sadiwa, parang in-arm lock na doon to make that illusion. Nasusubot si Flash to Diwa. So better and move para dito kay Jordan De La Paz. 14 seconds left here in the third. And Doza, they switch Eze against him. Frank beats Eze with a block right there. Seven seconds to go here in the third. Walang nagawa, walang mapuntahan itong si Jed Mendoza. Abot na abot yun ni Prince Eze. All ball. And Doza naman, wide open, but he doesn't take it. He's looking for Paolo Ponteos. Nakawagan siya ng traffic ng doon. Well, he was looking for the cutting of Paolo Ponteos of that single double. Actually, he had that open shot. Pero siyempre, ayon ang magkamali. 
Medyo naalangan siya doon. Traveling yung tinawag dito sa Jen Mendoza. Sa kapila naman, nagkamon! Takes the shot and the Prince Eze is right there for the tip-in. That cuts the lead to just two points para dito. But it's gone for Prince Eze. That basket will count for Prince Eze, as you guys can see. Shot from Dagangon, dipped in para dito kay Prince Eze. That is the seventh deadlock of this ball game. Tapos po ang ating third quarter dito sa laban ng JRU Heavy Bombers contra sa Perpetual Health Altas. As you guys can see, Day Day Tudoro gumawa siya ng third quarter. He now has a total of nine points here in this game, but Irvin Grospe continues to lead the Heavy Bombers with 11 points. Sabila naman, right on cue, Brida Quetti with 15 points and uh, 10 boards, a double-double early para dito kay Mr. Brightside. Sumusunod sa kanya, si Cap Dagangon with uh, 12 points. So this is going to be a down-to-wire finish here in this game. 43 po, oh, 43 all po, rather, ang ating talaan. Ayan ang ating huling basket that tied the ball game from uh, Prince Eze. Wag po kayo nga alis, magbabalik ang SNA para sa aksyon ng JRU Heavy Bombers contra dito sa University of Perpetual Health Outlast.